Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is John Belier of ConPhilippine.com and today I would like to tell you a feel-good story of what exactly happened to me two weeks ago. I posted this already on my blog. The title of the post is um, Big Sip Pits and a Look Returns My Wallet Full of Cash. So it was full at the time but not anymore just so you know. So this is a story of honesty and forgetfulness in my part. Um, yeah, so let me tell you a story. That was on Sunday, Sunday evening right after church. We went to Big C to buy some stuff for my wife. My wife would like to cook something for breakfast the following day. So we went to Big C to buy some ingredients and we were having fun. I mean, like I was playing with my kids. I was teasing them. We were having a good time. We were singing songs. It was quality time right there. And um, the problem here started when, when I was unloading all the uh, stuff that we bought to the trunk. I put everything, thinking I put everything to the trunk and I just simply pushed away the uh, cart that I, that I used for shopping. And problem there is I didn't uh, notice the bag which contained the milk, milk bottles of my, my son and also the wallet full of cash including of course, it's a one year savings cash by the way. and including some some ADM cards so anyway so I pushed it away the card and I got back in the car and we drove home so when my wife well I was already um, at home at the time my wife said where is Connor's milk and I was like it's just right there go check but she said there's nothing in here the bag is not here here either and right there from from a very happy moment it changed instantly into something sinister <laughs> like I was very nervous you know I was so scared and um, I was panicking so my wife said can you recall what happened can you retrace your steps what happened where did you where do you think you forgot it and something like that so yeah it was really terrible so what we did was you know I, I checked everything four corners of the car the trunk there's nothing so we went back to Big C and we went to the same spot where I parked the car and there I saw nothing. The uh, push cart was no longer there and on the other side I saw the push carts already arranged properly and from there I already, you know, it gave me a feeling that it's already gone. Like people come and go and a lot of people are, you know, like, mm, it's just terrible. So. We didn't know what to do. We were losing hope. And and then I saw a man quite far from where we were. He was um, sweeping the parking area. And I approached him, mustering all my Thai. Um, you know, I faked a Thai accent. I tried to sound like Thai so he can easily understand me. I think he did. And then he, did, he said something back, which I didn't understand. But there was a glimmer of hope. I saw a glimmer of hope because he was smiling. And he ushered us in. Big C, you know, inside, and we were following him, and I was just praying that, you know, something good might happen, and then on the table, I saw the bag that we were looking for, with the contents of, of the bag as well, and they asked me a couple of questions, people from Big C asked me a couple of questions from the customer service, satisfied with my answer, they asked me to, they let me count the money, which I did, Everything was there, the contents were there, everything was intact, nothing more, nothing less. And it was so overwhelmingly, I was so, oh my God, I was really, really happy. So I thanked them all, I, I, I showed, I did a why to them, and of course, as a goodwill gesture, I asked them to present the guy who found the bag. And minutes later, after radioing, the guy came, and of course, I, I gave something. It was not, it, it was not much but enough for him to enough to put a smile on his face and everybody everybody was happy so they took a photo of me i took a photo of them you can see him right here um with me and my fam my family and the guy so yeah so i'd like to take this opportunity to thank big sip business and look and also the guy who helped us if it was a different person who found the bag i could be have i could be telling you a different story right now and i'm just so grateful that that's the man and i hope that big C main Will also yeah honor this guy's honesty you know to help uh, to give motivation to other employees to follow suit I think if we can be if we can be honest not just to ourselves but to other people it can it can make the world you know a beautiful place to live in life will be 
much much wonderful and yeah I'm just so thankful that uh, my, my bag and the contents of the bag uh, was returned to me so it was some magical moment that I will never forget um, once again big sip is look thank you so much and to this man which I forgot to ask the name thank you so much sir may your tribe increase may you be blessed tenfold and yeah um, yeah thank you so much that's it <laughs> bye now Brother, let's call it in the crossfire <laughs> Let's call it in the crossfire